What's going on guys, it's Justin here and we've pulled our Project Jeep Wrangler back into the studio for a really cool upgrade. In an earlier video, you saw us install a set of rock sliders from Fishbone Off-Road. And since we've been out testing our Jeep a lot, we decided it was time to upgrade. And while our Fishbone rock sliders were a really good option for rocker protection, we wanted something with a little more comfort built in as well. Since the goal of this Wrangler build is all about versatility, we found a set of step sliders from Rock Slide Engineering. What makes these step sliders so dang cool is that they give us the best of both worlds. They're made from thick, durable steel, so they're plenty tough enough to handle whatever the trail throws at them. And they've got a cool trick up their sleeve too. Each rock slider has an incorporated retractable step to help us get in and out of the Jeep, and they work automatically. So whenever we close the doors, they pull up flush into the rock slider body, and they won't get snagged on logs, boulders, or any other trail obstacles. So a tough retractable slider and you can use them as a slider all in one tough package, sign me up. Follow along as we get these things installed and I walk you through the installation process. Let's get to work. So the first step in installing your new rock sliders is gonna be running the wiring harness. And these guys have a really great set of instructions on where to route them under the Jeep. I've already gone ahead and routed the harness, but I'm gonna show you guys some stuff under the hood that's really important to know. Now when you run these, you're going to want to make sure that you have your power wire here and then your ground wire is going to connect to one of the three studs right here. It's very important that you connect your ground wire to one of these studs and not the battery or else you're going to lose about six inches of harness and the harness isn't going to be long enough to route where it needs to go. So we got our ground wire attached to this ground stud here. I have my power wire up here ready to go and attached to our battery. And then I also went ahead and pulled the fuse out of the fuse holder so we don't gotta worry about any accidental mishaps and arcing under this deal. So with the ground hooked up and the harness ran under the Jeep, we're gonna head back to the back seat of the Jeep and route the door switch wires inside. So let's go do that. So we've made our way to the back seat on the passenger side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this plug here and insert a rubber grommet so we can run our door switch wires inside. Now I've already gone ahead and popped the trim up and pulled the carpet back to make it a little bit easier. With that installed, we're ready to run some wires through it. Now, one of the things I'll do once we get everything installed, I'll go ahead and take some silicone and I'll seal up around these wires just to make them a little bit more weatherproof. So let's get those ran inside and move on to the next step. So now we're gonna go ahead and insert our door switch wires through the rubber grommet we installed. There's one and there's two. Now let's go ahead and move over to the driver's side and do the exact same thing. So we've gone ahead and made our way over to the driver's side. I pulled the trim piece out as well. Now we're gonna pull this plug out. We're gonna insert a grommet first. So now that our wiring harness is routed, it's time to start installing our door switches. So we're gonna grab our door switches and we're gonna install our first ones in the back here, right above the hinge. So we're gonna grab an alcohol pad, clean off above the hinge, and then get these things stuck on. So with our first one installed, now we're gonna go ahead and install the other rear and then move to installing the front sensors. So with the rears installed, we can go ahead and move to the front. So now it's time to place our magnets for our door switches. So we've gone ahead and cleaned the foam off right here and I've stuck a piece of sticky tape to the back of one of these magnets. And then we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna place it. Just like that. Now I'm going to watch from the outside to make sure the alignment's good. Just to double check. Cool. So now that we've placed that one, we're going to go ahead and place our other three. So now that we have all our door switches installed, it's time to start plugging them into our harness. So we're going to grab our pigtails that we fed through the floor. We're going to go ahead and plug them in. So the green ones are the ones for the back doors and the blue wires are the ones for the fronts. So go ahead and plug our green and black wire into the rear door switch. Then when we go to reinstall our carpet and everything, we'll tuck all this stuff up nice and neat under the carpet so you can't see it. 
So now that this one's plugged in, let's go get the other three done. The last part of our interior installation with these steps is gonna be this little bracket that shares a bolt with our OBD2 connector. And what this bracket does is it incorporates a switch that allows us to shut our steps off while we're off-roading, so we don't have to worry about someone accidentally opening our door and you know, getting one smashed into a rock and what have you. So our switch is installed and it works. We'll go ahead and tuck all these wires away once we put our interior trim panels back on. Now it's time to head over to the Jeep and remove our rock sliders and get our new ones installed. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove the step bars we have on there now in preparation for our new ones. So with our old step bars removed and all our body bolts loosened, we're gonna go ahead and start mounting our brackets. Now our longest one goes in the back and our shortest in the front. So our medium length bracket here is gonna go in the middle. So I'm just gonna slide this on here for right now. And we're gonna leave these loose until we get everything installed and then we can go ahead and tighten them up. But I got this on here kind of snug now to where we can move it back and forth, but it's not floppy. So let's go ahead and get the rest of our brackets installed. Slide the last one on for the side. So with the passenger side installed, let's go ahead and get the ones on the driver's side as well. So starting on the driver's side, Let's go ahead and slide our bracket on. Snug it back up. So now we're gonna go ahead and install our bump strip. And what this is gonna do is kind of take up the gap right there between our step and the body. And also provide some protection for our body. So we're gonna mount this right here on this slanted surface here, right along the body line. And I went ahead and wiped all this down already and made sure it was nice and clean so this stuff would stick well. So there you have it, the best of both worlds. A handy step to help us get into our Jeep, even in dress shoes for a night out on the town. And then when the door closes, we're ready to rock and roll over some seriously aggressive trail terrain. Make sure to like and subscribe to the Summit Racing YouTube channel and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the action. Until next time, I'm Justin with Summit Racing. Thanks for watching.